While watching the online lectures, be sure to use the attached packet to take notes on. You'll find the link for the packet here at the title page for each chapter. Click on it, then print out the packet. These gray boxes in the online lectures refer to the slides and pages in the packet. Another factor that affects pKa, we're going to see its resonance delocalization. And the rule is the more delocalization of the conjugate base, the stronger the acid. Let me show you how that works here. Let's say we want to compare these two molecules. Which one is a stronger acid? Well, let's react them as acids and take a look at their corresponding conjugate bases. Let's look at the top conjugate base here. What I want you to know is that he would have more electron delocalization, and the bottom conjugate base would have less electron delocalization. And what that means for us is that the top conjugate base is more stable, and the bottom conjugate base is therefore less stable. We'll go into this in more depth in a few minutes. However, remember what that means is the top reaction is more favored, and the bottom reaction is less favored. Therefore, the top reaction gives up more H+, making this species the stronger acid, or the one with the lower pKa. Now, what is this electron delocalization? Let's get a good look at that top conjugate base here. This is what he looks like. What I'm going to show you is how the electrons delocalize around this molecule. And let's start with these electrons right here. What happens is they move this way, like this, between the carbon and the oxygen, and therefore create a new bond here. However, think of what that would do to this carbon. That carbon now has too many bonds around him. So what happens is the electrons in this pi bond right here, they move and jump up on top of the oxygen over here like this. Now this top oxygen has a negative formal charge. But notice after this move, all of the atoms are back to having their octet. Remember, carbon and oxygen want to have an octet. And if you looked at each one, this oxygen has an octet, this carbon has an octet, and so does this oxygen right here. So think about what we did here. By moving these electrons around, we just went from technically one Lewis dot structure to another valid Lewis dot structure, which kind of begs the question, then which one is the actual structure? Well, we'll see in another online lecture that a structure could be represented as various Lewis dot structures, and neither Lewis dot structure is the actual structure, the actual structure is more a hybrid of all the Lewis dot structures. But we're already getting out of the scope of this particular lecture. Again, we'll go into more depth of these principles later on. For now, all I wanted to do is just show you what delocalization looks like. And think of the term, delocalize. That means the electrons are not staying where they are. They're moving about the molecule. But there's one principle I do want you to know at this point, and that is how delocalization stabilizes. Well, think about it. If you have a bunch of electrons in a certain space, if you can possibly delocalize or move them away from each other, then this is lower energy or stabilizing. Remember, electrons are negatively charged and they repel each other. Putting them close to each other is high energy, pushing them away from each other is lower energy. So, going back to our example here, what we're saying is the top conjugate base, again, has more electron delocalization, and the bottom one has less electron delocalization. It just so happens that that bottom conjugate base, you cannot move the electrons around. And again, this is for reasons that are beyond the scope of this particular lecture. So, all we need to know right now is that one of the factors that affect pKa is resonance delocalization. The more delocalization of the conjugate base, the stronger the acid.